what is this major distinction uh, you know that we see in you know in the computer science branch like how the demand shifted from just a just a basic cs to cs with a specialization in future skills such as ai ml or data science or ux for that matter or robotic process automation so uh, just would like you know your opinion as in how the industry has been looking forward to all these specialized skill set just to give you a background i have around 20 years of experience right so when i started uh, the the industry was in a nascent stage uh, especially on the uh, around the software side and the industry has come a long way now right so when we started probably uh, google wasn't there right so uh, so there wasn't any search engine uh, as good as google then so a lot of things we had to do it uh, from a basics so so at that point of time having a basic knowledge of a computer science was good enough while uh, i come from an electronics background switched to computer science learned certain languages and encoding skills and that's how uh, you know my career started but things have changed now right so we have seen in last 5 years uh, to 7 years uh, the industry has transformed now it's no more uh, basic skills uh, that that uh, that are assumed to be a life skills now so for example if, if you go into any field coding it's kind of seen as a life skill right you you Uh, you learn swimming as a life skill similarly nowadays uh, coding has become that kind of skill that it is it is understood that person who is applying for a computer industry would have a fair understanding of the computer basics and the uh, and the coding and all right uh, but the things that have moved now and then tremendous amount of changes has happened in the industry where cloud has come in uh, now uh, whatever algorithms or ai algorithms we talk about today it's very easy for you to get on the cloud run those algorithms and see uh, and learn from there right but imagine 5 uh, 6 years back uh, these things were not possible you would have to go to a large uh, lab which has a funded uh, uh, such hardware and where you could run certain algorithms in all right so you have a lot of resources now available on the internet on a cloud Uh, and and also a lot of help videos everything is available for this um, uh, generation right so in a way you guys are lucky that you are you will be starting your journey now in this era uh, but that puts on lot of pressure and a competition as well right so where uh, everyone at the base everyone has access to the same resources same technologies and all right so how would you differentiate yourself when you pass out from from a college let's say after 4 years right so that's where uh, this specializations comes in picture right while there is a demand from industry on moving towards ai iot blockchain ar or or any such kind of specializations right but uh, 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 but from the uh, from the supply perspective right so currently what we do in the industry we spend 2 or 3 to 6 months to train a person so that he can uh, be aware of those specialized technologies that we want him to work upon right so if if you are taking such course which is already teaching you uh, those specific areas then it becomes easy for industry to absorb such talent and then not spend 2 6 months of effort on training but rather he can be uh, he or she is available from the day one for a job right so that that's where the expectations from the industry are also changing uh, the competition is fierce we already know uh, so much of information is available to uh, uh, to everyone on the internet and all right so just staying with the basic skills will certainly uh, will be a challenging to find a good uh, job or even if you want to be a entrepreneur if you want to start your own companies and all right so certain specialization in in some of the fields would definitely give you niche uh, whether you're trying to search for a good job or trying to open up uh, your own company right